The market is back, SBCs are about to be finished, and we are ripping some major packs today, but first, we got something I know you're gonna love. What's good, Stop Nation? It's Stop T here. We partnered up with Ultimate Fan Live, the best new way to play fantasy football to give you an unbelievable challenge opportunity this weekend with the Manchester Derby. So what you need to do first is download the game in the link below um, and hit that button in the bottom so you can bring up this little search spot and type in Stop D. And once you add us, once you follow us, you're going to be a part of our live leaderboard that we're going to go through. We're going to live react to the match on the weekend and see who truly is the best fantasy player in Stop D Nation. Just like this here, right now we're second, but I'm sure we'll be first. If you have not played Ultimate Fan Live before, basically what it is, is it's fantasy where you go and draft a team of two players against five other opponents. You can also join in on contests like this one where you have the Champions League contest, and you can see how you would rank globally against your friends and against the people that you're competing in the matches against as well. And you have multiple tiers of matches you can do. You can do gold, you can do platinum, you can do bronze, you can do silver each one with its own entry fee and each one with its own rewards that you get out of it you can go into live matches and you can also pre-draft for matches in the future the first thing we're going to look at is the live match so here we can see the match starts in about 10 minutes time from where we went into this we go in the five other people we go up against we're going to draft from them we can see the chat we can see the players played in the last matches and we can choose our players as well now what's really helpful here is the data scout because this allows you to kind of get an idea of how players have been playing in the previous matches so even if it's it's a match that you're not really, you know, maybe exactly how the players are going to play or it's not your favorite team, something you follow, you can still play them. You got the Serie A, you got the Champions League, you got the, you know, there's World Cup matches that were going on as well. So we pick up Garcia there um, as our pick because he looked like he was going to be a strong player based on previous results and the data scout and everything that that had to tell us. And then we wait for everybody to go through their draft as well. One to five, five to one, a typical sort of draft style with that one. While we're waiting, we can kind of see how the teams compare to each other and we can see who our opponents are drafting as well to get an idea of who do we want to pick in this match. Once you've selected your two players, it's going to pop up with this screen and show you the live update and you're going to get points on the actual the actual match. You get it for when your player wins a penalty, when they score a goal, when they tackle, when they get the ball and they tackle, when they cross, when pretty much everything in the match is going to affect your player's points, which is so awesome and so much fun. And you can also lose points. So if they get a yellow card, if they get a red card, if they make a big mistake, something like that, that's going to impact as well. You can also use power up. So here you can see we can put double points on one of our players, which would cause everything they do to double. Good and bad. You can also trade players if you feel like your players are not really doing what you want them to do, um, and you can activate and see everything that's going on as well. So the live chat with everybody in the match as the match is going on, everything they've activated and everything like that. And you can see your leaderboard, you can see the global leaderboard and your fall leaderboard as well. So you can see here a lot of the match has already gone underway. We get double time because we put on our two times points for passes, both good and missed passes as well, which gave our player a total point at the top. It shows you the live match for everything that's going on there and who the highest drafted players are and if there's undrafted players they pop up there as well so when you look at this we got 23 points we got 11 points on Garcia so we thought he was going to be good for us he was our first pick but now we're going to trade him out because we can see that there's some players that are maybe playing a little bit better and kind of on the rise in the match as well so you can see your following rank we can actually see the followers rank and this is where we're going to show you some really fun things later on also pre-draft players as well so if a match coming up maybe you're gonna you know you're not going to be a round for it. You don't know if you're going to be there for the start of it. You can pre-draft the player. So here we can do this platinum match for the Champions League with Liverpool and Man City. So it costs a thousand coins. We can win 2,500 coins in that one and we can use the data scout to help us decide which players we want to pick. So you can see Man City score. You can see Liverpool score. You can see their past five games and how they've been performing lately. And you can also see it for the players individually. So we know De Bruyne's a strong player but how many points is it going to get us? It breaks it down to um, by the passing, by the shooting, by the discipline all the different categories that you're going to get points on there as well. So dribbling, defense, everything like that. So you know which ones maybe you want to put some power-ups on and those sort of things as well. Salah, we know he's going to be a strong player, but how will he perform with this? How has he been performing lately? Everything like that. So the data scout, really helpful in that regard. Once you've decided who you want to pick, though, you can go ahead and you can select your five choices, either all of them from Man City, all of them from Liverpool, a mixture of both. Um, but once you've selected all five of your choices, you can go ahead and you can submit that lineup. Now, it is allowed to 
it change, you can change it and come back if you decide, oh, hey, maybe I don't think that Sal is going to play well. You know, for whatever reason, you can go back and you can change it. An hour before the match, usually the lineups are going to come back. So you always should come back and maybe double check, you know, make sure everything that you want is in order. But you can just leave the pre-draft. You can see who you get selected and come back at the end and just collect your winnings at the end of it if you want as well. So you can either go in the match while it's in play. You can go before the match and do the pre-draft. Um, or you can go in the first hour before and have the lineups as they are set and do the live draft against everybody else. But I had an absolute blast playing this, so make sure you go and download it. Follow us, Stop D, so you can be a part of the massive challenge against Stop D and the Manchester Derby on the weekend. I'm um, gonna look forward to seeing any of you if you're playing the Champions League matches and any matches like that. So come check it out and come follow Stop D on there so we can have some fun. As you can see here, the SBCs, we've finished two stages. We have all our players left to claim. We are finishing the entire thing off today in this video before we go and rip some amazing packs. We got some really exciting things in store for this one. Um, but uh, you can see here, uh, as we pull up the uh, the previous video, or the, well, the previous video, I previously recorded first um, parts of these ones. Just so you can see what we put into the first squad building challenges uh, for this week. Uh, that the market is now available. So if you go into the market, you will see it no longer set that it is unavailable which is amazing we can now finally complete the SBCs um, a, a little unfortunate about the tournament like I barely finished the tournament uh, one and I know a lot of people did miss out on that maybe the end of the SBC so I don't know if they're gonna do something uh, in that hopefully uh, you know there is some kind of compensation something like that but uh, I'm, I'm happy right now at least the market's back and at least we can focus on these SBCs now so you can see the market is back up we are able to buy players in the market so hopefully Hopefully you are able to complete some of these SBCs. I'm gonna show you what we put now into the new ones We got the pie here and I was gonna do the same thing We did last time where we put like you know one of the cards in and get the second one But I think I might not just put the pie in here. Uh, we could put him in this one I do have him uh, here to put in this position But I feel like I'm not gonna waste the Depay because I've already leveled him up a bit Why not have two? Why not have two to buy cards? So we're gonna have a second one here We're gonna go in this is the squad uh, kind of really expensive squad to put in but I think gonna be worthwhile in the end um, because we do get those points as well uh, and it's not completing the whole team of the week or whole, whole SBC of the week uh, if you don't do them all. So here we go. A million coins. Not bad right there as well. And we get our card. Depay. Memphis Depay. A very, very nice card right there. And then on to the other side. We got Musa here. He is going to be our first SBC player completed. So this is the lineup that we've used for him. Um, Kasper Schmeichel in net. This was what we couldn't finish before. We didn't have any players from his club, uh, so we couldn't finish that off. But not a bad squad, actually, for, uh, what is it, an 80... 83 overall 80 86 overall an 86 overall striker and some skill boost um, We're not really giving up a whole lot for this one So this one I'm definitely a little bit more happy about uh, maybe than the Depay that we already have But uh, if you don't have Depay already, that's an awesome one to go into but anyways uh, the player trade in for this one We're gonna finish that off uh, the players have been removed from this challenge That's not good. That's not good Do I have some that were in multiple ones? I might have to go and fix this. How many players? Oh, we lost one. We lost one player, but it can be from anything. It just has to be a 78 overall. Hopefully this is enough to do it. We're looking in there. It is enough right now, so we do have enough. I'm I'm happy with, with this squad. I'm okay to give up this squad. Uh, so there you go. Two Easter players in this one, and the rest of them up there. Our final one to put this in. Yes, we will trade it in this time, and we get our final SBC for this week. A bunch of skill boosts, and our player right there at the bottom. All the way at the bottom. Bizarro there, out of there. So 102 sprint speed, 92 acceleration. Uh, we'll go check out the squad right now. We got a striker. We got a central mid. We got a right mid on the team. Uh, so starting to get a for you of the cards coming up in there as well so we'll actually I feel like what I'll do I'll swap them out um I don't want central mids anymore. Here you go. Make them 100 overall. The 100 overall SBC. I think it's our first SBC at 100 overall. Uh, nice looking card. 122 sprint, 123 acceleration. Not a bad card at all. Uh, and then our right mid, obviously under from last week. So we got under, under that one. The right mid card and then the central mid card. So we're going to have to switch up our formation. I thought we could keep this formation, but we can't go with that. We need one where we have a central mid. I guess like a 4-3-3 three, three maybe we could go with. A 4-3-4-3. 
Yeah, let's do a 343. Three. Okay, 343 three flat. We could actually get all of our cards in this one. Um, so we'll swap out Michael Owen here for our lone striker, Musa. And then we will go over to the right mid, put our second one in on the squad under in that second spot. And then our central mid card as well. So all the cards in the team there. There they are, our three SBC cards. We're getting closer to getting them all. We're hoping to get them all by the end of this one. But let's go and do some packs now. Okay, so as you saw, we want to do every single scouting pack. So we're going to start off with some of these ones. I shouldn't have used the 100 coins for this. Okay, here we go. We're, I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of luck in the rest of the world. The best we can get is like a gold plus player. So we don't move to a whole bunch of these. Probably like two or three. But hey, go. There you go. Gold out of that one. Uh, hopefully some of these might be helpful for some like SBCs. Our first chance to actually get an elite player in this one. So the second round, see we get Gold Rodriguez. So Lucas Rodriguez out of that one in the South America one. So we'll probably do two, three of these bottom ones and then we'll start to do a couple more as we get to the higher ones. As we go elite, no elite in that one. I think we do one more. I think we do one more here. We'll do like three of this one. Then we'll do four. Then we'll, we'll like ascending in order or until we get silvers because those are not good. Okay, here we go. 300 on this one. Let's see what we get in this next one. Another gold, another gold SBC, or not SBC, I want to say, they kind of look like SBCs, I feel like, in a little bit. So scouting, another silver atoms out of that one as we go into, I feel like I missed one. I need to do one more of this. I need to do one more of this. We skipped ahead to the North America. Okay, here we go. North American again, trying to go and get ourselves a gold out of this. Not going to happen. We get Elliot there. And our final North American one, actually two more North American ones. Ooh. We're getting golds. We're getting golds here as we go on our next one up. I've been invited to stop D. Interesting. All right, here we go. You're up too. This is the one where we want to pull that Gelson Martins card. Not going to be in that first pack, though. Definitely not in that first pack. We're going to go through a few more of these ones. Next one up. Alvarez there, but no Gelson Martins. That is the card that we are looking for. I'm, that's like one of the fastest right mid cards that you can get out of there as we go in. The final one for this one, and then we're going to move on to the big final one. Alvarez again out of there, and then the Europe one, the big one that everybody likes to see because you got that chance to get some wicked, wicked cards in there. You're guaranteed at least a gold. But I want to see that red. I want to see that Werner card. Although he is coming as the weekend tournament reward. So maybe I do actually would rather see Donnarama there um, to get. Because he's actually a really beastly keeper as well. But anyways, the next one. And really, you're only going to get it by opening a ton of these packs. Because we can't really get it any other way. But that next one up. Ooh, not bad. Right back. Let's see his stats. I basically got some good stats on this card. 88 pace. Uh, so he's uh, not quite as good actually as his uh, tournament card in there, interestingly enough. But the next one up. Nothing. Okay. We'll do like two more, three more of these ones and see what we can get. Nope, nothing again. We are not getting that luck going. We just want to see Rashford. I would definitely like that Rashford card as well. So again, more golds, solid golds in this one as we go next pack again. Not getting that Europe one luck right now. So we're ripping through these ones. We're going to hope that this will turn it around and it's not going to happen there. It's not going to happen for us as we rip through more scouting packs and no elite so far in this. I don't know how many of these we're going to have to open before we actually pull an elite. I feel like we need to pull this till we pull an elite though as we get some more duplicate golds. Oi. Oi. Next one up again. More golds out of there. We're going to get an entire squad just by opening this pack right now. As we go on to the next one. We already did the squad though. So I feel like we don't really need to do that again. But next pack up. Let's see it. No elite again. Okay, we'll do like three more packs here. And see that if we can get anything going. I bet. Let's see this. Set. Let's see the stats in here. 72 defending. Not the greatest. But 87 tackling and 95 aggression. Uh, pretty good on that card. So let's do two more packs here. Next one up. We get a. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. But not the greatest of stats. Not the greatest of stats. All right, final one, final one. Show me that elite. Oh, brown, no. Not who we wanted to pull there. We wanted to see an elite and it's not gonna happen again. Again, 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 come on. Show it to me, show it to me, show it to me. Oh, it's it's waiting, it's waiting, it's waiting. It's gonna be Harry Winks. All right. It's gotta turn around, right? It's gotta turn around, it's not, it's not. All right, this is like the most amount of like scouting packs I feel like you can open and we got nothing out of these ones so far. We did pull Marco Sensio way early on in this Palmer. We pulled probably every single Europe 1-1 one, one, except for the ones that we're trying to pull. Will we get it now? No. Okay, like how many more can we pull? Let's go. You got this, 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 you got this. I think this is not happening for us. I think this is not happening right now. I don't think that we're gonna get this right now. Nothing. Nothing in that one and it will do 
a final attempt on this one. The scouting, it's not going to happen for us. Only goals in the scouting. Hopefully, the team heroes will go a little bit better for us. A couple 50 packs saved up for us. We have a 24 here to try and get Cruz. Maybe we can pull Cristiano Ronaldo. He did wonders for us in our draft, in our in our Ultimate Fan Live draft that we did earlier. He did wonders for us. Maybe we can pull him again in this one as we go. Three, we are like top leaderboard, top 1% because he got us 150 points on his first goal. We had like the triple thing on. Magical. Magical right there as we go in. Trying to get this Cruz card. I would take that as well. I would definitely take Cruz as we go. Hernandez there. And we got one more that we can open from this one. And then we'll do some of the 50 ones after this. So the next one up, we got a 50 attempt to try and get Hazard. Can we get it? Four. Okay. 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 Show me the elites. Show me the elites. And it's going to be... Team Hero, Hazard, very nice, very nice right there. So a big pull in that one. We don't have enough to do Neuer. We, that's one that I really, really wanted to try and get, but we don't have enough for it. We can try and get Kane. Can we get the Tottenham Team Hero player? We're pulling that card a lot right now. Okay, here we go. Final one, nothing in it. We've pulled Winks more than probably any other card that you can pull. We got two more chances, though, at Kane to do it on the smaller level. Again, apparently this is the only card that we want to pull in this game right now. Again. All right, we need to move on to something else uh, as we go Monaco. So Falcao here, can we get him? Can we get him? Not going to be there. Not a bad card, but definitely not the card we were trying to hit in this one. As we go next pack up, another decent card, but not the one we're looking for. As we go, I really want this brand card. We have been trying to get this card forever, and I've, I've been failing. So here we go. Two, one, and it is not going to be there. Oh, man, we pull an elite, but not the one that we wanted to get unfortunate there don't have enough for Cavani we can do Banucci I have him already but I take another team hero pull so here we go next one up we go and get it may actually be better to do that it may actually be better since we already have Banucci uh, this is probably the better option in this one as we go through again one more of these team hero packs for AC Milan I don't think we have any other teams that we can go through uh, Roma we only have one for Liverpool we only have one for uh, we have oh this could be good. This could be good. One chance. But what are the chances that you actually pull a team here on the one chance? Not very good in that specific one. As we go on to Bala as well. We got three chances to get him. We have him already, but I could take... Or, like, we, I would take maybe his, like, his non-team hero card. I don't know. Lots of good things we could go out of this one. As we go the final Juventus pack, we will get nothing. All right. Last one, Lukaku. We can do one Lukaku. And there it is, the final one. Lingard, not a bad pull out of there um, as we go in and finish off all of our Team Hero ones for this week. So a pretty decent haul out of there. Um, definitely, definitely not, can't complain about there. The SBC's looking beautiful uh, as we go in here. We will do a little bit of gameplay to finish this off with this Musa card and see how we can do in the match. 105 overall, 103 overall, close match. They got that Gareth Bale card in there. That card is definitely looking nice as we start this off. Let's just try like a shot from half with them. Nice roulette. Nice roulette. Take it from far out and it's going to be a save. I thought he might have actually scored that one. That was pretty close. Cristiano Ronaldo into the middle. Nice move. Nice move. Rainbow top of the box. Strike. Beautiful goal right there from our new SBC player. As he goes in, he's got a really clean roulette, but that was not the direction. The second one went not, did not go the direction I wanted to go. As we go in, get on side. Get on side. Okay, we'll take the free kick. What? Oh, I thought I was going to get a free kick. It showed the free kick. Deli Alley. Deli Alley loses it there. I don't know why we didn't get the free kick, but that's okay. Deli Alley. Deli Alley is going to come in. They're putting in. Jovinko puts it in, but we put it in the back of the net as well. 2-2 two to two right now. Ronaldo into the middle. All right, we get to see more of our players here. Our second star. Chip. Oh, not enough power on the chip, though. Not enough power at all on the chip as we come in. Okay, we get to see him again. He gets past Petit. That's not an easy thing to do, and he's going to draw the foul for Depay. Depay is going to off the bar, and we get the header going, and it's going to be the great chance. We're not getting a lot of goals, but they're also not getting a lot of goals yet either as Deli Alley slides it beside the net. Okay, Messi, you can't miss that. There you go. Thank you. Messi finally puts it in the back of the net. 3-2 to two right now. Here we go. Okay, easy chip from super far out. It's going to go. The keeper was way, way out of position, and you'll make him pay every time if that happens. Deli Ali passes it up to himself. 
as Gio Vinkle puts in the back of the net. They're on a breakaway right after. Will they get another goal? They do. So we have to score it. And we do. Ramos puts it in the back of the net. Sergio Ramos with a very nice goal there. But thank you for checking this out. And thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to add us on Ultimate Fan Live. We are going to be on there on the weekend. We're going to be checking our leaderboard for that Manchester Derby match. I'm excited for it. If you have not put in your lives for the Liverpool match, I will probably see you there as well. It's been a pleasure as always. Stop D out.